we've been asked a few times about our bat collection and what bats we have and what bats we like and we often talk about it on the blog roll um, this just gives you a little idea I, I saw a video about a bat collection and I thought hey this would be fun to make and show everybody the Just Bat Reviews bat collection uh, this is maybe about half the bats that we've seen here through the JBRHQ if you will uh, over the last uh, couple years of doing this um, probably at max time we had about 200 right now we have about a hundred and they just sort of roll over as we you know we try to find people in our local leagues that you know that want to buy them or we find a buyer for them after we've kind of demoed them out they're sort of a fun uh, they're a fun hit uh, for sure and you know some of them come worked in but the point is here is this is just fun to look at because we have 92 of them here um, we have some more inside uh, in what we call the bat cave that I didn't want to bring out and put out here because it's just it was a lot of effort but but either way it was it's fun to it's fun to see them all in one place and it sort of makes me understand why my when my wife says what are we doing with all these baseball bats um, and softball bats and and fast pitch bats but but either way it's fun to acquire these things uh, probably worth uh, talking about a couple clearly talking about 92 in a video um, I don't think I can hold your attention for that long but here's a couple fun ones um, you can't you can't come over uh, to the JBRHQ and not see, uh, you know, the bat, which I think is, you know, the custom main DeMarini bat. This is the Voodoo Overlord FT that came out last year. And then, as you know, DeMarini made a custom made site. This is the BB Core 3229. Um, just an absolutely beautiful bat. If you've ever held a Voodoo before, you know, you know what we're talking about. Great bat. There's, there's also a couple in here I don't think I'm supposed to show you just yet, but. But over time, I'm sure they'll come up on the blog, the blog roll. Here's another one that we just love, this 2919 Combat B2 De Bomb Bat. If you're in a league where this bat's legal, uh, it's seriously worth checking out. We got a couple of them in there. In fact, you can kind of see there and there, just with different sizes. But we've hit the life out of this bat. If you hit this bat right, this composite just keeps getting worked in. Uh, it'd be fun to really get a real bat performance factor test on that now that it's worked in. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's like 1.25. Um, which is fun, you know. Some of the leagues like Cal Ripken still allow it, so it's it's fun to hit it there. Uh, you know, if you hit it right, although the barrel's kind of small. Oh, what else we got in there? Uh, the list kind of goes on. Um, you know, of bats. There's a lot of the CFA. There's there's the Drop Five CF7 that came out last year that we think is just an absolutely amazing bat. Um, you know, Drop Drop Five. That's a 3025. Good barrel size. Good balance. One of our favorites we've ever hit with. Um, there's a new trio. Here's Adidas's new EQT X3. Um, we put a review up on this a couple weeks ago, and it's been real popular. Um, Adidas is really trying to get into the baseball bat market over the last two years, um, and this is their latest iteration, which is like a two-piece composite, ultra light swinging bat. It competes kind of like with a Mako, or maybe a CFA, or maybe even like a, a Velo from Rawlings. Um, yeah, like we said, and list. The list just goes on. Um, got some old school stuff in there. Got some new school stuff in there. Got some S ones. Um, the mine bat here. This is Prince Fielder's bat, or at least a bat he swung every so often. Um, oh no, that's sorry. That's the youth version of it. There's the actual. Uh, uh, this is the adult or the, the pro version of it. But the 33 and a half inch mine, that Italian beechwood bat. That one's fun to check out. Here's another one that we like a lot. This is the this is Mike Trout's old uh, high school bat. Although this is the little league version of it, the Stealth XL. These bats are like 400 bucks on eBay. I, I bought I bought this bat for like 60 bucks two or three years ago. Had no idea, and then looked at it one day on eBay and thought that's that's insane. But it has fantastic pop. Uh, it looks like it, the whole bat just looks like a barrel. It's a two and a quarter of a uh, two and a quarter inch barrel, but it's super fun. And we put of course a lizard skin grip on it. That's a fun bat to play around with. This Combat B1, you know, sort of the original bomb. That's pretty fun. Uh, big fan as well of these, this axe-handled fungo bat. This full maple fungo bat. If you've never uh, used a lot of fungo bats, um, in fact, we got two of them for some reason. But there's your uh, there's your maple fungo. There's an NVS D Marini Vexum. It's a great bat. An old TPX from Slugger. An Exogrid. The Combat. There's the uh, there's the Max Core, which has the soft barrel, which you can read about on the site. Uh, yeah, it's fun. So you can imagine when people come over to do a little hitting in the cage. There's the old 715 uh, slugger. I shouldn't say old. It's just a year old. That 715 compared to the 7, you know, 16. 
Um, but yeah, you can imagine when people come over, there's the Mizuno Nighthawk down there. Uh, Jenny Finch was just swinging this in the Celebrity All-Star Game or Celebrity Softball All-Star Games a couple couple months ago. The Nighthawk, I guess Mizuno's coming out with a baseball bat. That's uh, the Nighthawk as well. That should be pretty fun to check out when it comes out. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it's fun when people come over to hit in the cage. We're not joking. We're not joking when we say you got a couple options to hit with. Um, and they keep rolling in here and we keep reviewing them and as people keep liking these videos and going to our site, it seems like it just keeps growing. So it's a fun community to get some objective third party reviews on real baseball bat data opposed to, you know, good old fashioned marketing hype and spin that seems to be uh, all the market seems to be made of these days. But it's been a fun, uh, been a fun run. We'll keep it up.